welcome back to my channel everyone so today i am doing a cruella de vil halloween look to go with my 31 days of halloween that's not really 31 days this year so if you guys want to see how to turn into the fabulous villainess herself keep watching so to start this look i'm going to start using the goof proof brow pencil from Benefit and I'm going to start by brushing my eyebrows upwards. Cruella always has super penciled in thin brows so I'm just going to make a skinny little tail at the end that goes down pretty far and then underline and overline the top right where the arch would be and then we're going to fill it in so my brows will be a little bit thicker since i'm not gluing them down or anything but her brows are definitely an iconic part of her look and then once you get to the front you can just feather it vertically so now we're done with that we're going to conceal our face with the physician's formula concealer in fair to light and we're going to go under the eyes and down the nose because we are going to contour the nose. So just make a line. You can use a brush. I just kind of use the tube to apply it. Some in the middle and some right on the middle of our chin because she does have a very pointed chin. So we're just going to buff this out with a sponge. Now we're going to set all of this with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Powder. Yeah. Ah, this stuff comes out so fast. So we're just going to tap some of this. So now we are going to contour our face and we're not going to go the regular route of contouring. I'm actually going to be using a gray eyeshadow out of my V palette. It's Bedrock from Makeup Geek. I'm going to be using a very tiny contouring brush from MUA. And we're just going to load this up and we're going to start contouring our cheeks. So now we're going to contour the nose. I'm just using the NYX bronzer in medium and I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to pinch it so it is really flat and we're going to go down the side of the nose first. And then we're going to bring it in so it's pointy. You can unpinch the brush once you've got it on there and just feather out those lines. Now that we have that done, we're going to go on to the eye makeup. I'm using the NYX base in white since we will be using bright colors today. And blending it with my finger. Yes. So for our crease today, I'm going into the Makeup Revolution palette. This is the Mermaids Forever and I'm using this dark green here on a small brush. You want to create your crease up higher than where it normally sits, so you want to go above yes. the actual, uh, like, push your actual crease and go right on the socket itself. This way your eyes look bigger, like hers are and you have more lid space to work with mm. 
and you want to keep the shape very rounded you don't want to have any peaks in there and you want to keep the edges rounded as well because her eye look is very rounded out i'm just going to diffuse that out with the duo fiber diffusing brush from morphe this is an m429 now that we have our crease set in place and edges blended, we're gonna start working on the lid. So I'm going into the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and we're going to take the color Splash, which is this teal color on a big fluffy brush and pack it onto the lid. The diffuser brush and darken back in the places that some of the green shadow went a little bit too high. To add a bit more dimension, we're going to go into my Z palette and take the color Secret Garden on a fluffy brush. And we're just going to add this to the outer corner. Now we're going to put on some eyeliner. This is the Ico I Do Liquid Liner. For the lashes, I'm going to use some of the Voluminous Primer. And then I'm going to be using the Marcel Ultimate Volume Nano Mascara. It's got this tiny little applicator. So we are going to do our cheeks now. I'm going to use an angled brush in the Hikari Tango blush, which is super pink. And we're just going to take this back. Before we get to the hair, I'm going to do my lips. I'm using Kate Makeup's Power Trip. It's just a liquid lip. Now over top of all of it, I'm going to be using Lovebird Affair from Wet n Wild. I could not find a wig that I was truly in love with for Cruella, like the half and half. So I just popped in some gray extensions into my big black wig. So it's a little bit of a modern take. So now let's take a look at the full costume. of the video i hope you guys enjoy and let me know what you are going as for halloween down below and stick around so that you guys can see the rest of my halloween looks bye